And the saga continues on the hunt. Salmon Derby. It's serious business. This is the Oregon side. The city of Warrington. You think they're serious about their fishing? Pretty serious, huh? at it again. It was a little tough on the surf. Fishing condition was very hostile. What I mean by that was 17 miles an hour wind. Casting was mediocre. Uh, I could get distance but the uh, 17 miles an hour wind without a heavy lead I had to use a I started off with a three ounce lead, end up going to a four, and then finished off with a five. Five ounce was able to stay straight, and uh, but the fishing wasn't wasn't there. You know, the waves were seven foot swells. I had to come to the campground, uh, get some rest, and hit it early in the morning. Tomorrow, uh, I'll post what the wind chart looks like for tomorrow. Should be fishable. 
uh, be anything anything under 10 miles an hour is worth fishing in. Anything above 10, 10 miles an hour is very difficult. I did catch two scopins, but I don't want scopins. And so, uh, red tail wasn't biting. We just got here not too long ago. Uh, it's the third week, going on the third week of August on the weekend. And so, I'm a little tired. And just giving a quick account. Get about three hours of fishing. And uh, gonna go batten down and do it again tomorrow. So, until next time. All, the, all, all the, the boaters are gone. Oh, they'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, they'll be back bright and early. I'll be on the server bright and early, too. See, our spot is always available. See, we just, oh, we those just cars are gone. Hit. Yeah, we just pay our 10 bucks and set up camp, and we good to go. <laughs> all right, we're going to do... One day parking. We'll be out of here less than 17 hours. A little tired from being on that surf. A little surf drunk. Night camping. I love it because now the surf was rough. Got a chance to go see what the what the surf looked like. Put a strategy together for tomorrow. And the saga continues on the hunt. Red tail <laughs> surf perch. Actually it's just summer fun. Pound net. Got some pound net. And course artificial bait. And tomorrow I'm throwing everything at them. I always keep my mind focused that the fish is always the bonus just in case I stump and I take a person. I'm gonna use my 12 foot battle pin rod and reel combo. And nothing less than two ounce lead. Gotta really give this some focus. This is fuck camping. Nothing, nothing glamorous about it. Just getting it done. But it's so much fun. Especially. <laughs> That's what that bro. That rod is well, <laughs> especially when you don't got to go spend a, a hundred and sixty dollars on a motel. Yeah. This is this is cool. So on the hunt, on the chase, camping, having life, a new life experience, and um, just fun. And so tomorrow I'm gonna be on them. I'm gonna throw everything at them. I even got my uh, my new rake for uh, clamming, not clamming, for uh, sand crabs. And so I didn't see any on the, on the beach today. And so I will be on them tomorrow. Definitely on them tomorrow. I got my mind racing after my surf perch. But I've, I've been doing pretty good so far. Well, fill, fill my freezer up for the winter. So I'm going to finish up my, my late dinner. Two and two. Deuces.
and tell them off. Good morning, my favorite people. Getting ready to start the day. It is 5 o'clock in the morning. Wind gusts are right at 5 miles an hour. And it will be that until about noon. And then it gets up to about 11 miles an hour. So I'm getting ready to start my day. She's going to go out that way. I'm going to go out that way. The salmon, the salmon boaters are already hitting the river at the mouth of the Columbia, the city of Warrington. Surf. Get my bag today, hopefully. Got a nice little surprise for those surf perch for the day. Everything's dropping down. Right. Oh, beautiful morning. Fresh air. I think I'm gonna start off with some shrimp. Tried some uh, clam necks yesterday, and I'm gonna go with a high-low rig, heavy lead. Kind of want to anticipate what the surf is gonna feel like, but I won't know until I get there. So, rise and shine. Early mornings, what I love the best, fresh. Morning, good morning, good morning. Look at that. A few clouds. Oh, the wind is behaving this morning. Got to get up when the fishes are active. Salmon boaters are starting to come out the harbor. Making their way out to the river. The birds are active. There's quite a bit of bait fish. So while they Going after the salmon, I'm gonna go after me some surf perch. I figure they should be in the Willamette River in about four or five days. I'll get activity on what the kayak side looks like. Beautiful morning. Up and at them. At this time, I want to thank all of my subscribers. I'm close to hitting 100 subscribers. I want to thank you for watching my videos. If you like what you're viewing, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and definitely comment. Is there anything I can be improving on? Anything you want? Anything you would like to see? Leave in the comments below. Well, this is the Oregon coast, and this is how it's being done. 
stacks and stacks and miles and miles of vacationers getting it in before school starts again. And this is just common. This is every year. This is my first year participating. Not actually fishing, but just watching. Unreal. I always heard that salmon fishing is a big deal, but I'm really getting the big bigger picture now. And it just goes on and on. Boat traffic, boat activity. got to be here to see this to appreciate all the efforts into going into catching these wonderful fish we got tour boats I think I'm gonna get on one of these one day that's so all I'll participate right there Hammond Bay, City of Warrington. Charter boats. There's a bait shop right there, right at the boat dock. But I'm coming to find out that the best place to buy your bait is at uh, Tackle Time. That's where I brought my uh, my bait for our surf fish. Clown nets. Yeah, this is where you do it. Make it happen, Captain. Church, I might get on one of these charters. It'll be some years before I do that. think it was quiet here about a week and a half ago there was no action full of action now the early bird gets the first worm see you at the beach I didn't mean to mess up your reps. I know how serious you are. Not getting any younger. <laughs> ah, man, neither one of us, but you know. I don't want gravity to take over. I'm taking over. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom line is nothing's dropping. <laughs> Everything's staying up. I'm with that. All right. Well, I need to get this stuff tucked away and put up and hit the, hit the beach.
to be a million surf off to the place to be off to the Oregon surf Attacking the salmon, the fish never rests. Fish is always the bonus. I've never seen this before. I never knew they got down like this. Yeah, look at this. This is like, do they win money? I mean, you stock your freezer up. I mean, you get your photos. You, what else? What else? What else? It's a billion dollar industry. I mean, explain this to me. Kayak fishing, boat fishing, plunking. That fish never get a break, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it is wanted. If this was the wild, wild west, that would be the outlaw fish. <laughs> Highly sorted out. But we're going to the surf. Off to the place to be. To the Oregon surf. And there's our little store. Did you go to the store this morning? Alright. See you when we get back. my kayak in the water catch me some salmon so, I got my participation on them let's go a little bit of fog a little bit of fog ain't hurt nobody let's get out let's get them Been on sunset. I've been drilling on sunset for the last couple of months. I think we'll go to uh, Del Rey. My ultimate goal is to be able to hit both beach in one day. And then there's still about three other beaches in this vicinity, in this area, that I can look at. Because if they're not, if they're not there, no you stay in there all day looking for a fish that's not there. You know, they, they travel all up and they just, they're everywhere. You gotta find them. And that's the fun. That's the hunt. Once you find them, they be, it, it'd be fun. It's home. But the, the real fun is the bonus of it. That's the real fun. It's like, wow, look what I caught. You know, this, this fish is, is a very good fish to have. It tastes so good. Eventually, I'm gonna hit something by accident, and I'm really gonna get turned on with a little bit, little bit of balls we got here. What are changes like that here? Always gotta be in the moment. Always gotta be on your toes. That's not gonna stop me. Speed limit is 45 people. Slow down. I'm only doing 45. So take a chance, take a chance. Take a chance and go around. These policemen are waiting for you around that corner. See? Got a car coming up right here. He just honked his horn and bam. Accident. Highway 101. Patience, patience, my friend. Patience. I can meet that person, have a little conversation with him, but he's not worth it. People, 
type of stuff you got to be aware of your surroundings I should, yeah, I'm not gonna be vindictive and go about 15 miles an hour just because it's fog See, I could do that but I'm not gonna do that so there's a lesson to be learned here also be nice and kind he must didn't have his coffee this morning we got a big diesel truck behind us because his truck is bigger than mine Go man, go man, go bad man, go, go mad man, <laughs> mad man on the road, caution, caution people, mad man on the road, that's alright, he gonna get that, that uh, state ticket for me, he gonna get it out the way, we're speeding, go get that ticket for me, Now we got a sun break. See, when you do the right thing, the sun shines on you. When you do the right thing, you got the right frame of mind, you come out the fog, and it's a beautiful day. Isn't that beautiful? All right, Del Rey. Almost missed, almost missed my, uh, is this it? I almost missed my turn. I had my mind on something else. I want to but we're here safe. It only took a few minutes. My viewers, you're gonna have to excuse me. Just in case I don't catch today, I'd rather show you in the moment. In the moment activity. Just in case I skunk today. See all the efforts I put into getting my fish. I'm gonna get my bag today. Trying to stay calm, cool, collective at all times. Golfers, a golf course for you. Oh yeah, this is this is a well-known uh, golf course too. Highland Golf Club, and look at that site right there. Look at that site right there. All right, let's get my game on. All right, trying to get serious. Do not attempt this if you do not have a 4x4. Four four. You gotta have a 4x4. Four four. You will get stuck. But they do have a club out here and they will come and get you unstuck if you decide to venture out to the Oregon coast. Whether it's Del Rey or Del Rey or Sunset. And there's a few other entrants. Oh wow, look at that water. See that? Isn't that beautiful? It's a gravel entry, but about another 300 feet, it's all sand. That's where you will get stuck if you don't have a 4x4. Four four. Alright, left or right? Which, which, which way is the water poking? Where is it drawing it? Left or right? Left or right? All right, four by four engaged. On the beach. Which way, which direction? So many options. Uh, let's see here. Last time I was here, they were hitting to the left of me and to, yeah, to the left of me. Yeah, it was a high tide. The water came out all the way this far out. Last night, it was a high, high tide. Yes, yeah, it's real mushy. So let's get off the wet sand. So that means the next high tide is gonna be just as high. So positioning of your vehicle is very important. You can position it too far low and you'll find yourself, what, in the water. And so you want to pay attention to the sand where it's really dry at. I think we're going to park up here. Okay. By the entrance. So it's Sunday. There's going to be a lot of people here today. So we'll go further down. The water came way up here. Very high tide. 
And just in case, if you don't have any um, type of device that will get you unstuck, you can always buy these very large zip ties. And you can zip tie them to your tire, which will give you traction. But they got this sand block that you can tie onto your tire. And it's about a six inch by two inch and you strap it onto your tire and it gives you that traction. They're cutting up what they four by four. They got donuts and everything out here in the sand. We're putting this putting our four by four to the test today. I've never gone this far. See all this all this fishable beach. Gotta have courage. And there are, like I said, there is a sand club called the Sons of Beaches. You heard it right. The Sons of Beaches. <laughs> That's the name of the, look it up, Google it. That's the name of the, uh, of the club. And they'll come and get you unstuck out of the sand. I'll, I got a business card, but I'll, I'll show that on my next video. Look that card. And uh, well, yeah, if you got jumper cables, they'll give you a jump too. But it's called the Sons of Beaches. Uh, it's early in the morning. I've never ventured out this far because I never wanted to ever think about getting. I've seen how many people we seen get stuck yesterday? Two people. Every time we come out here, somebody gets stuck. I'm supposed to let a little bit of air out, but my tire is inflated. Alright, let's find out the location. We've, we've been sightseeing for a minute. Alright, it's time to get on. Well, I'm on my first fish. Got a nice little tug. Finally got in the water. Probably a scoping. Oh yeah, nice foam on the water. I don't know if this is a good area or not. Running with some shrimp and clam necks. Okay, all the bait still secure. Shrimp stayed on the line. I'm in a deep trough with a nearby bar in front of me. A little bit of algae bloom on top of the water this morning. Stained up water. Ain't never hurt nobody. Warmest time of the year. Warmest month of the year. Quite a bit of algae bloom. After the bloom, the uh, sand fleas and sand crabs should be filtered. 
filtering, all the filtering organisms are going to have a feast. We'll do a very slow retrieve. It's going to take about 30 minutes, of course, to get a feel of what the beach is going to allow me to do. Most importantly, as you can hear, no high winds, big difference. Fishable beach. So I'll let you know what I catch when I catch it. Off my line, Krabby. Another female. Good time to to throw some uh, crab snares out. Probably more females out here than they are males. Catch around 50 or 60 non keepers before you get one keeper. Give me my hook. Thank you very much. Thank you for showing up, but not what I want. Very beautiful though. Tell your friends they need to show up to the party. Well, before casting, you want to always make sure that your line is clear and clean of seaweed. I just broke off not too long ago and had to put in this hardware, which didn't do any better. With a four ounce lead, the current is pulling really hard this morning. So, lesson learned, make sure you clean your line. Got a kayaker out there in the surf trying to get past those breakers for the last 20 minutes. Well, back to my surf fishing. Do my kayak thing in the river, in the Willamette. Probably in about another week or so. Getting as much surf fishing in as possible while we have good weather. October's approaching. September, similar to August, but October is the difference. And I'll probably hit the, I'll probably hit the uh, river then. Oh, there's a little divot right there. I should have brought my my clam gun. So far, I like these clam necks. They're holding pretty tight. They're really tough and durable. Hold them real tight to the hook and uh, very durable on a last. Well, I'm gonna go over here, get back to the truck and get my, uh, my uh, sand flea rake. See if I can pull up me some sand crabs. Or moles or sand fleas, so many different names. I didn't get not one bite on my uh, clam necks. Tried shrimp. Shrimp got ripped apart by the crabs. Pulled up one little crab, female crab. I want to stay uh, committed to 
fishing for some surfer perch. I would. I have my crab like crab license, but you're gonna pull up more females than you would males. I don't want to commit to that amount of time. Even though I do, I may have tomorrow, but we'll work with what I want to do for today. So I'm gonna attempt to uh, pull up some sand crabs and hopefully that'll attract them to my line. Well, I didn't see any sand crabs along the, uh, the foam. So I'm gonna go dig in these uh, little pools. Where I pulled up that first one at. Then I'll just, I'll just work my way back down to the waterfront area. I uh, see that kayaker wasn't able to get past those breakers. And luckily, based off of the surfers I've seen out here, oh, there's no pools through, it's all flats. I'm gonna have to go back over. I'm gonna have to go back over there. It's all flat. He might need a, a, a motor, motorized kayak or a Hobie instead of using paddles. You got the wrong type of kayak to cut through the water. Might want to get a dagger. Dagger, not because I have. That, that'll cut you through the water real good. Now this sand right here is real soft. This is easier to easier to plow through. But I need some deep, deep ridges, like a deep pool. They're gonna be closer towards the ridge edge of a deep pool. See the sand changes. This is a different beach, by the way. It's not sunset, it's Del Rey. Del Rey is, might, might be just a, a flatter beach. So sun, uh, sand crabs, far cats, heavy lead. In between the bars. These bars are pretty flat, but they're high. Alright, well I need to go find some pools. Well, there's a little pool just up there. sand rate. If I'm gonna find a, multiple ones, I'll, it'll be quick. Put some muscles into it. Trying to get some exercise in. Working hard for. Well, smarter, not harder. Alright. Stay on the hunt. I guess he didn't plan that out very well. He left his kayak, took off his wetsuit, started his walk back to his truck. Yeah, he's definitely gonna need a power drive, dag well, a dagger for one, to get him through the surf. This is a sit on top kayak. He had a dagger, he would have plowed through that, through these breakers. 
don't look like he thought it out very well. And that's because I own a dagger. So they are really good. Recommend a, a dagger titan. I have a Zydeco. Dagger Zydeco nine foot. Putting a Slopes on, on mine because the uh, weight capacity is, is right about 185. I am a solid 200. But I'm going to use mine strictly for the lake. And I'm still on the hunt for some sand fleas. And they are evading me now. This looks good. This looks good. Normally I see them right through here. Normally, I'm just gonna keep walking and walking and walking and walking. Put some mileage on. Get to be friends with the with the beach. It's coming into high tide. Oh, what we got here? Oh, just moving sand. Oh, you'll see them. It'll be like little bumps. The way this is looking, I'm gonna have to commit to a, a one solid day. Probably the very first day I arrive when I decide I wanna go fishing on the weekend or during the middle of the weekday. Cause that's the day I'm the most tired is until overnight and I get some rest. So I might commit that day to searching for sand fleas Instead of just coming out and fishing and get a fish observation of the water. Oh, here he comes, right there. Do, 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 like a cartoon. <laughs> do, 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 do. And of course, you can see people starting to start to show up towards the kayak, like there's some action. Where is the kayaker? Where is he at? Oh, he's alive. He's okay. He's coming with his truck. First response is on the go. Always ready. Safety first. You got to figure out his gear better than that. Not that I know what I'm doing, but that's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> Makes sense, huh? Hmm. I'll stick to the river. Thank you very much. Now the people are scattering away. No action to be found there. Everyone's safe and sound. As you can see there would have been a mishap. Oregon Coast residents of Beach Gores are on the job. There is Seaside, the residents resort. Come all the way down this way. Where this is the boundary area for fishing to surf and recreation and uh, township. Get you a Hobie, man. Get you a Hobie. Or get you a dagger. It'll be just fine. Seemed like a good idea, good idea at the time. I'm pretty sure of that. Came out unscathed. That's more important than anything. Like I said, the fish is always the bonus. Some deep pools right here. I can remember days coming out here and I can just spot sand, uh, sand fleas digging in the digging in the sand top surface and pick them up with my hand. Now they're playing hide and go seek. I guess today's my day to get acquainted with the beach, huh? Seems like I'm gonna have all day just to be walking. They sure are not biting. Sounds a little personal now. Oh shucks. Oh, 
from the beach. I came to the beach to fish and catch me a bag. Other than that, come to the beach and hit the boardwalk and sightsee and all the other jazz. Well, my viewers, I'm working on it. I'm working diligently on it. Honor, courage, commitment. We in a high bloom. Yesterday was a high wind advisory. Today is just same as yesterday and the water clarity is just terrible. They can't see my bait. The algae blooming and uh, sand crabs are nowhere around. All conditions got to be just right. And the not know factor, that's what gets you all anxious and start doing things that are a little bit out of routine. I'm gonna get you guys on some fish. Stick with me. Thank you for subscribing. Hitting that 100 subscriber mark, I feel good about that. I wasn't expecting that, so I appreciate everyone who's watching. Okay, I'm just gonna take a guess, a wild guess. I'm gonna assume that this algae bloom is affecting the sand fleas and the sand, well, the sand crabs from being normally on these high, these high mounds and perhaps affecting the surf perch. Maybe they've moved on either direction that way or further up or further down the coast that way, that way and so this bloom is on Del Re and, and seaset, uh, sunset I got one sand flea to fish with and of course I'm gonna fish with what I got not ungrateful sand is extremely very hard and I got this particular rake for this handle be easy on my back and so I'm gonna get at it with my one with my one say it again with my one sand flea I get one chance one chance I'm gonna put it on a Carolina rig I'm going to fish with it until it falls off. Then I'm going to go to a different beach. I just don't think this bloom is helping at all. This algae bloom has wrecked everything. Not that serious, but I'm enjoying the moment, the atmosphere most of all. you got to find it. This is the bonus. I just gotta review what I said earlier so I don't catch an attitude. Keep my arrogance down. I've been lucky to have caught some fish. And of course, someone's getting ready to ask me, did you catch anything? <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting here chilling. <laughs> right about now, I really think that's where I might spend some time at. Just to think and reflect. At least about two hours or so. I put in three hours at least. And my rule is if I catch, if I'm catching nothing in three hours, uh, it's time for a break. Wind should start kicking up about four o'clock. Got a very mild gust coming, well, very mild breeze coming through right now. So I put in some work. Fish with my one sand crab and then go back to uh, clam necks. Well, I just fished my one sand crab.
got about two feet visibility due to this algae bloom. Back further deeper. Using clam net. Hopefully they, they can smell it. Slight wind, not wind gust, slight wind. Knots about four or five right about now. It's going on nine, it's going on uh, 12 o'clock. Using a Carolina rig with clown. Because of the wind, I'm using a heavier line. Using my 800, my 8,000 pin real beach just really taking charge and pushing people around, pushing me around today learn a lot learning a lot still only lost one rig tried multiple methods of producing a strike And they still have to be in the area. I want to attempt throwing shrimp, even though it's a softer bait. I have a suspicion that the crabs that are in here are going to tear them apart or tear it apart, or the current's going to rip it off. But I'm going to try that. Stay hopeful and encouraged. If I come out with a fish today, I, that will be a well earned and deserved catch. Let you know when I catch it, when I catch it. Well, with all the odds stacked up against me, I still, I still feel pretty good. I was on the verge of catching me one. I just broke off, getting further and farther. I didn't check my line. Got somehow wrapped around my tip. And so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I think I'm learning how to fish that, that clown net. And I think I got the gear that I need for the area that I fish in. So I know what they are biting like on up close and shallow and what they biting off of medium range and now I just accomplished reaching further distance. I think I'm gonna drop this this line that I have on here. This is 85 pound test for throwing four ounce lead. I think I'm gonna drop this line down to maybe 65. A little lighter. That's only for windy days. So that the, the line is heavy and it, it's it just it casts further, further straighter, straighter, and it doesn't wash. The current doesn't pull it so quickly to shore. So it's not it's not quite yet a bust. I'm not done fishing yet, but I've learned a lot. That's what's more important. I've learned a lot.
they were just there for uh, early this morning. Mm -hmm. And today was their last day. See it's it. Let's go snatch it up. <laughs> well, this is the end of the month of August, coming to a closing. And the surf changed. Smoke oysters. This looks different. Just a long flat. It almost looks, well, almost feels unfishable. There's all these fishes every day. Gotta be long cast. Heavy lead. I have some shrimp. And the saga continues on the hunt. Red tail surf perch. <laughs>